friend. We think it would be best if you didn't see him anymore. Mom, come on. Look, man, you can't let them run your lives forever. You're almost 15. I just want to finish our demo tape. Can't you sneak out? Maybe tonight. <laughs> All right. right. Maybe, OK. All right. So, glad you came over? Yeah. See, the thing about parents is you can't take them too seriously. Oh, no. What? They called the police. Dad. Dad. Grandma. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. They're dead. No. I'm sorry. Wake up in the morning, feeling shine on the energy. I gotta go to the school. I don't think I can make it, don't think I can take it. I wonder what I'm gonna do. But when I look around, I see that someone is smiling right at me. Wait, that someone's talking to me. Hey, I've got a new friend. Everybody can see. Parents are going too far. Hey, dude, you gotta hear our song, man. It's fabulous. Have you seen Wheels? I want him to hear it. Last night, Wheels' parents called the police. What? What'd they go and do that for? Oh, man, those parents are really bad news. You're telling me? I mean, what's Wheels done? That's why I can't hey, hey, you. Hey, uh, You're in grade nine upstairs, remember? Oh, okay, see you, Jody. See you, man. Arthur, move. Joey, Radich told me to sit here. Move. Joey, sit where I asked you to sit. Come on, Mr. Radich. Joey, please. I'm afraid that I have some very bad news. A student at this school lost his parents last night. They were killed by a drunk driver. The student involved is Derek Wheeler. A lot of you know Derek. And I'm sure that you'll want to ensure that some flowers are at the uh, funeral. His family has asked that only family members and very close friends attend the funeral. Alex, uh, view of your experience as treasurer last year, I'd like you to be responsible for the collection, and I'll start things off for you. Let me know tomorrow afternoon how much money we've raised. Okay. All right, class dismissed. Grant us now the confidence of a certain faith, the comfort of a holy hope, an assurance of your favor, and the perfect charity with all humanity, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Into God's keeping we commend our brother here departed. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. To God's keeping, we commend our sister here departed. We commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, trusting in God's great mercy by which we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Why is he crying? I don't know. The Lord
Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Hello? Just a moment. It's Joey again. He's not ready to talk to anyone at the moment, Joey. Well, do you know when he will be? I don't know when that will be. Um, just tell him I called then, okay? Sounds very nice. I don't want to talk to him. Maybe we should talk. It's not good to keep things bottled up, dear. It's all right to cry. I don't want to cry. I'm fine. OK, you want to talk. Tell me what's going to happen to me. Maybe you'll live with us. It's all older people, and it's so far from school. Maybe you could live here. Derek, you know your grandpa's sick, and he's got to be near the hospital. Then I can stay here on my own. Derek, you're only 14. What would you do all by yourself? Hmm? I can take care of myself. Let's wait till later and we'll talk to a social worker about it. I don't want to talk to a social worker. And, and I don't want to go to a foster home. And I don't want fake parents. Don't you get it? That's the whole point. Excuse me, the point of going to a movie is not to be confused. Well, I didn't find it confusing. I found it provocative. Mom? Dad? I'm so glad you're home. Derek, what are you doing still awake? I thought you were dead. We are dead. dead. No. Derek, we are 
are dead. Nancy Kramer, responsible student government. Kathleen Mead, for strong authority. Democracy. Student government. You're crazy. You're crazy. Superman is way better than Spider-Man. Superman's blind. But Superman's got superpowers. All Spider-Man can do is shoot webbing. At least that's better than flying and stopping bullets. That's so fake. Yeah, but Spider-Man's got a girlfriend. So does Superman. Yeah, but they don't do mushy stuff. Spider-Man does all the time. Yuck. Don't argue with me. I'm in grade eight. Only because you accelerated. That proves I'm smarter. No, it proves there are flaws in the educational system. Borden. What? Albie, I swear, I was just walking along and this car honked. It was like he was waiting for me. Lucy Fernandez has a boyfriend. Albie! <laughs> hubba, hubba, hubba! It's <laughs> so incredible. We're going to a movie this Saturday. I thought we were going to a movie Saturday. Um, sorry, I forgot. I'll tell him I can't come. No, go with him. We can go next week. Thanks, Albie. You're great. He's in grade 11. Does he lift my hand? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to ask you. <laughs> Are you looking forward to it? Wheels. Wheels, man. I'm, I've been trying to call you. Look, um, don't touch me. Look, man, I'm really sorry. Listen, I made you a copy of our demo tape. It, it's really good. I don't want your stupid tape. I don't want your stupid band either. Yeah, sure, OK. I was just trying to help. I don't want your help. Hey, you guys. Wheels is back. We just saw him. Really? Oh, my God. What are we supposed to say to him? I don't know. Just don't mention anything about his parents. I don't think that's right. Sure it is. You don't want to hurt the guy. But it's good to talk about it. When my mom died, it really helped me. It's sort of like sharing the pain. I don't want to share any pain. Yeah, LD. I'm not going to walk up to the guy and ask him, so how are your parents? I don't mean that. I mean, if he brings it up, you don't have to change the subject. It's so unfair that Will's parents are dead and the drunk driver's OK. I just hope he doesn't cry. I know if he cries, I'll cry too. No. He's here. Derek, good to have you back. I'm available for extra help anytime. Okay. As promised, I did not correct these math papers. They were merely an exercise. Please turn in your math text to page 104, please. Isolating the variable. It says whatever changes made to one side of an equation must also be made to the other. Now, let's start with equation number one. Let x equal a plus b. Thanks. You 
Aren't you eating anything, Spike? I'm on a diet. It's hard getting back in shape. Why? Well, you look great. Thanks. You know, it's so great to be back here. This dorky place? Are you crazy? Taking care of a baby's tough. I think go to one party all summer. At least here, I feel like a normal kid. Yeah. Well, who's taking care of Emma now? Well, this girl I met in prenatal, she's a waitress. She takes care of Emma during the day, and then at nighttime, I take care of her baby. That's why I can never go out anywhere. Well, don't you think it would be a little bit easier if you got a babysitter? How? I don't have any money. Get a part-time job or something. After school, I help my mom, and then at nighttime, I mind Emma. I just have no time. There's got to be some way. So what are you going to do with all your money? Well, I have a trust account that becomes mine when I'm 21. A trust account? Yep. And I've invested in a little company called Repco. Repco? Yeah, it's gone up two points already. <laughs> oh, that's why you read the busy section. Yeah, you really have to keep an eye on your stocks. So what else are you going to buy with the money? Oh, I saw this computer. Oh, it's really fun. Hi, Arthur. Go away. I told you never to talk to me here. Go! <laughs> Who's that? My dumb cousin, Dorothy. She comes here now. She sure looks like you. She does not. Yes, she does. Look, she has the same smile. Give me a break. No, give me a million dollars. I'm sure we'll accomplish a lot more than stuff to buy. Either one of us will make a better present than she ever will. Probably. We'll see you later. Kathleen Mead for student council president. Hi. Hello. My election campaign isn't really living up to my expectations. I wouldn't worry about it, Kathleen. There's only two of you running. Even if you lose, you'll still be vice president. But I don't want to be vice president. I want to be president. And I don't want to lose to Nancy Kramer. Oh, yes, my campaign is going very well. These posters are a big help. It looks great. Thanks. I feel so terrible for the guy. How are you doing, Gretchen? Who doesn't? I have to force myself to look at him. Hey, guys. You guys want to go shoot some baskets? What's the matter with you? Don't you have any feelings? Yeah, I got feelings. I feel terrible, Ari. Right? That's why I got to go shoot some baskets. What's the matter with me? I mean, he's my friend. treat you different just because your mom won the lottery. Well, being rich means you learn a lot. For instance, I uh, could be kidnapped and held for us. I doubt it. So, want to go get a milkshake? Yeah, sure. You're buying, right? What? <laughs> I'm not rich. Relax. I'm just joking. Ow. Mom? Sir. LD, I think I'm in love. Paul is so nice. I don't like his friend very much, though. <laughs> hey, Elise, you want a lift? Sure. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, wait a minute. I thought we were going to the mall. LD, we can go to the mall anytime. Here. What's this? It's half my allowance. 
It's sort of like child support. I'd give you more, but I need the rest for bus fare and stuff. I'm also going to get a part-time job to give you more money. I know you don't want to talk to me. Shane? Thanks. What are you giving me money for? Man, I thought we were friends. Yeah, like Snake, right? He won't even talk to me. He doesn't know what to say. No one talks to me. All they do is stare. Come on, man, relax. You made my parents mad at me. No, I didn't. Relax. You messed it up. You made me go to your house. It wouldn't have happened if I'd gone to the movie. You couldn't have stopped it. Yeah, you think you're so smart. What do you know? I should have gone to the movie. Wheels, no one knew they were going to die. If you would have gone, you would have been dead too. You don't want to be dead? Yes, I do. What are you doing? Oh, I should have gone to the movie. Stop it. I should have went Stop to the movie it, with them. I should have went at your place. You wouldn't have died. I should have gone to the movie. Stop you wouldn't have thought of it. went. Ow. I just wish I was dead. I'm going crazy. Joey, are you all right? What are you doing here? Same as you. It's not fair, is it? I just want everything to be the same again. I only wish it could be. I see them every night, like they're real. But that's good. It's necessary. I'm thinking all those things you are. Sometimes I think I'm going crazy. Grandma, me and them, we were sort of fighting before it happened. Derek. They didn't die because you had a fight with them. I miss them so much. So do I. I never thought my daughter would die before me. yesterday. It's just... I don't know. I can't explain. Well, that's okay. Anytime you want to beat me up, that's what I'm here for. Thanks. Listen. I made you another copy of our demo tape. If you ever want to listen to it, here it is. Thanks. 
Maybe I'll listen to it sometime. It's up to you, man. Joey? I'm really scared. Det er klart, at alle er bange for at gøre Weirs mere ked af det, end han er i forvejen. Men netop ved at holde mund...